Hello and welcome to a Smurd P video and we are looking at Transformers Legacy as it's got it on the top. Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Autobot, Silver Streak from Transformers. We got a love picture of him transformed on the front. You can see him through Hasbro's plastic free top there. And on the side you got RC, you got Mirage, you got Bumblebee there, you got Optimus Prime there which looks pretty cool. On the back, some promo shots, and on the side, a nice picture of Silver Streak with Lexi at the bottom. So let's get him out of the packaging. Okay, so you can call me mad in a minute, or maybe I'm just a rebel, but this is not Silver Streak. This is Blue Streak, right? The way that I remember it is Blue Streak was blue. Or did I just make that up? I remember a masterpiece many years ago that I had. In fact, I think it was my first brand new masterpiece. And it was called Blue Streak. And this is what it looked like. So um, I, I, I'm a bit bemused. Maybe I've, I've made a terrible mistake. And just um, he was silver with blue. But in reality, Silver Streak, I thought, was pure silver. And I think he was only, only in maybe a few episodes of season one. And even then... At best, it was real background um, for him. And then they just wiped him out. They sold the toys, whatever, and moved on. So this to me is Blue Streak. I feel like I'm going very mad. Anyway, um, I've always been a fan of this mold. I, I, particularly, I, I'm a big fan of Smoke Screen. I think that came out really well. Prow, obviously, another big one of this mold. Very well known. Whereas Blue Streak... Um, not sure if he featured in actually anything other than this, but I I actually liked the colors that they actually did Blue Streak with. I feel like they're very, very nice colors. So he's got two little guns that just sit on the side. Nothing special, but you can put them in other places. So you can just slide in there or slide in there if you wanted. And this is the same mold that we've seen Barricade come out of as well. Nice little head sculpt in there, if I can get it to focus. All about signature very well. Looks very, very nice. And tidy all the way through. You did, I mean, these bits bug me, but they were a part of what made this figure what it was. Now, I find it bizarre that they've done this, but they haven't done another Prowl. Prowl and I hide as the double set was, other than I got lucky a few times when I went to buy it, I got lucky about four times rebuying it. Don't ask me why I kept rebuying it, but I did. Um, I got lucky because I got it for about 40 quid for, I think, at least three of those occasions. And one of them I played over the odds. But we won't talk about that, will we? Um, so I feel like they could have done that. And that would have maybe so. I'm not sure if people are very interested in this. So articulation-wise, got that. That can come out a little bit if you want it to. You do have the single joint there, and the wrist does have some swivel on it, so you can swivel the wrist. Not much, so just be aware of that. There is a turn on there. The legs can go like that. Hiya! We can do the splits. He does have a sort of double joint, but you got this piece here, so think about what you're doing with that. And then you have the up and the down, and that's pretty much it, because it's all in there. They just have these little pieces here, which I don't know what they do. They just make him stand better. He also comes with this lovely little white gun to go with his uh, entourage, which I look, think looks very, very cool. I do like that a lot. That's pretty decent. So there we have. There's Blue Streak. He is cool. I'm impressed by him. Let's have a look at He's a bot mode. Here he is in his old mode, and I've got to say, this looks very, very nice, very, very flush. The transformation is nice and easy, and really, the majority of it is fun to do. Um, one thing that I did notice was that there seems to be, when they've cut plastic on these pieces, that seems to have happened, which is a little bit disappointing. But other than that, it just all seems to fit in, if I can get it to stay in very well. <laughs> um, one thing which I say I'm never a fan of is the big ugly plug on the top, but they're going to keep doing it because this is a kid's toy. It's not for adults, but I would prefer that not to be on there. However, I feel like these ones 
work out really well. So these could stay. Top one, not a fan of. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It looks really cool. And, you know, it depends what sort of scenario you are trying to create. So there we go. There is Silver Streak, not Blue Streak in his art mode. So just to wrap it up, this uh, figure is a lot of fun. I do like the generation figures, these figures, because um, unlike masterpieces, you can just mess around with them and not give it much thought um, or be really concerned about breaking them. They also look very, very good. So if you're a real G1 completist right now, this was your best opportunity to to achieve that with the figures that they're releasing. Um, don't get me wrong, I still feel like they should be re-releasing some of those exclusives like the the cone heads for example or is it run amok i feel like they should still do that but they don't seem to be doing that and um in fact they seem to be giving us a lot of repaints for some reason which i find bizarre but anyway that's another story i hope you like this review if you do please support my channel by subscribing i really appreciate it make sure you look after yourself very important and as always embrace the geekiness take care goodbye